You alone deserve our glory. You alone deserve our honor. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. I bow and Raise high the name of your, the name of the Lord. Ark. Salvation fest. Ark. On the way to heaven. Ebusunya for me ne mo e sunya dia matuni ding long term plan of God. My family, we're having teachings on the long term plan of God. Osuma for Morrison ye. And this is Messenger Morrison. God bless you. And I'm in Shirao. Asamu wei. So ube tiye ni ye pa diya. Eba ya wode papa. This message will be so interesting. E san se. O nyanko po ni tiri mo poa. E ni pa bibri e huni ya no. O dene di achirao. E wo Jesus dinim. Because the plans of God which has which has been hidden for a very long time, now it is going to be revealed. The long time salvation plan of God. We're still talking about the long term plan of the salvation of the Lord. So what can kai Psalm 92, Psalm 90, Psalm 90, verse 2. According to Psalm 90, verse 2. I say, before mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And sana. Before the creation of the mountains and the earth that we live in now. Before the creation of the sea and the valleys. Ansana niyama yehu nina babano na wuyo nyame. And before the creation of all the things we see in the world, the Lord was God before. Proverbs 8.25 I see, And sana hills, Eye embe po, Ene en koko, Ene en niyame wu yasi nyinano, Ene osuru musuru baba na uyo nyame. And according to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 25, it also says that before the creation of the mountains and the hills that we see today, the Lord was God before. And so I want us to begin with today's message. Long-term plan of God. We are still talking about the long-term plan of of God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Near all can kind of on here ready and to know him, Mamma no one can kind or say infitias here. No, according to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it reads in the beginning, Unyanko Pon Bosor, and the assassin. God created the heavens and the earth. And into the mama niji tego sisters pano. I love them. And that's why I'm so fascinated about this singers, Togo sisters. I say, Nyami o bosoro, ni asase, adie nina, muma yanko tonu. Nyami o bosoro, Ni asase abodi enyi nara mo ma yanku tunu haleluya yesu dina yesu dina ye wanwa pa 
Yesu dina ya wawa ampa. Eh, hey, hallelujah. Yesu dina ya wawa o ampo. Yesu dina ya wawa o ampo. Oh, Tego sisters, God bless you. God bless you, Tego sisters, wherever you are. This song is actually about the awesomeness of God and how he created the things he created. Oh, yes. Now, when if it is a man, you are going to be a man, you are going to be a man, you are going long term plans or ye go hands and all body or boy in you now I'm going to teach you about the long term of the of the Lord even before he created all the things that we see today. Se enipa o wo nyansa. Enipa o wo adwene. Se obeya adie bia o to no bo ase bu hu akonta. Ehshehe ansa na waye. Someone who has wisdom and understanding about whatever he does, he makes sure to plan ahead even before he does what he does. Na mamen chira wa adie bi. Ansa na nyanko ponso so ba bo adie no. Obo modin e ye list of ne plans. Se me ye wei first. Na ma ye wei second. Na ma ye wei third. Now I want you to understand that before the creation, God made sure that he planned ahead. And so he planned what to Create first, second, third, and so on. In TTA, I will have a pim a ham crown edison in the year nineteen thirty. Anna, a scientist, a body and yan sapay mofoy, ye who shall be who say, See, see, I need eight planet, name me a one nine planet. So in the year 1930, this scientific researcher came out with the fact that we do not have eight planets but nine instead. And at 206, Omoba confirmed, sir, your planet will be a different dwarf planet. And in the year 2006, it came out to be that we had another planet called the dwarf. The anti ama me can say the one as someone said me chira o se ni anya kupon o si ishi share ye fiti soro edibesi asase ene asase asase. My reason for talking about this is to let you know how God planned right from the creation of the heavens to the earth and then even be under the sea. And in the first planet, almost say a friend of Mercury, and a second. Planet, you say a friend of Venus, and a third planet, you say a friend of Earth, and a fourth one, a e Mars, and a fifth one, a e Jupiter, and a sixth one, a e Saturn, and a seventh one, yeah, uh, Barbara of Human, why? Uranus. Uranus, yes. So, according to the planet names, we realize that the first one is Mercury, the second one is Mars, sorry, Venus, the second one is Earth. The, the te- third one. The third one is Earth, and the fourth is Mars, the fifth is Jupiter, the sixth is Saturn, and then the seventh is Uranus, and then the last one is Neptune. And I see a Yababenya dwarf planet, Akahomanaya and Kron. And then now we have what we call the dwarf planet as well. So it makes them nine. Relax. Tobuase. Tinasidine tie in samwa meno wakano. Wonze nyankupon wankani nina mbomo keke. Oshesheye. I want you to relax and pay attention to what I'm going to say. You realize that God really planned the way he created the world. Meko Dubai. Na meko du Dubai no. Na miko huu ya dain tin 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 bi pa wa hopa. Brofo na yase ya freno sky scrape house ya den diya yi. Bobo brofo na. So I visited Dubai and realized there was this tall building which they call the sky scrapers. Yes. Na a dain no. Ewa, ewa pa. I'm saying over 100. 
na yashe shene saa, na utu mi huse, ansa ni yebe si saa daino. E ni mpompo tnase, eshe shene ne plansi ye, ansa na ube si saa daino. This building is actually tall. It's about over 100 buildings or 100 meters tall. That is if you count the number of houses that is on the building. So you realize that even we human beings sit and plan ahead even before we do what we do. And in tinyame bo adie nyina wie ye no. Obebo nipa. So after the creation of all the things we see in the world today, God created human being. Na abra nyame obo nipa wie ye no. Odi dwe bi si ho na oka kire nipa se we ye papa after the creation of human being, he had two trees in a certain place. And one tree, one with tree, two different fruits. One tree with two different fruits, and ordered human being to eat the one that was good. Not to eat. Not to eat at all, because one was a good fruit and the other one was a bad fruit. I say, a papa and a bunny and a He's, he ordered human being that it was the fruit of a bad and good knowledge. And it is a good idea. He also told him that if you eat from the fruit, you are going to die. And it is a good idea. And it is a good idea. But the sad you are see her. Na onimpotes se inimpabedike. Before he created the human being, that tree was there, and he also knew that yes, the man was going to eat from the fruit. Na se nimpani dia obashiase aninti owu ane unkwamwa sam ewase eba. And he knew that once they ate from the fruit, they were going to fall. And so he knew that there was going to be death and there was going to be life. So we're talking about death and life at the same time. Let's not forget that before all the things we see, he had already created the angels and one of the angels came to be the devil na wonim se dwumadia na ono nyame tri mo pom no wahsha to ho se so obronsam nya free in the state of morning star na osanya free in the state of uh, uh, lucifer Oba be ye Satan, na wabe ye devil, na wabe ye bonsama kweti yae. According to the plans of God, he knew that if the devil, as we see today, he knew that he would fall from being an angel to Lucifer, or from the morning star to Lucifer. From morning star Lucifer to Satan to and To Satan devil. and the, the devil we see today. Winim. Measurement, days, time, hours, years, or share, two hands and a sign your men in Baba. And for those who think God is never going to come, I want you to pay attention to this one. I want you to know that he planned ahead and that whatever he does, he has already planned it out. And in the the plan or yes or the beginning of the and it days in the time or or the share, you know, medical the about that audio number one thing beginning of this year so the planned 
or the way he planned to come do, or to appear in the second in his second coming had already been planned and i have that audio out already na wonim ma men chira wa ade bi ono no ma noa measurement on from pam the ark no so we stay there genesis chapter 6 up to 8 on ma no measurement window no ma ne yet this measurement asia no ma ne yet this measurement ne length ne breadth ne height ne wide e mo ne tre ne kasia ne biblia no on ma noa measurement ni nyina papaepe during the days of noah he really planned as we see from genesis chapter 6 and 8 because he realized that he gave noah the measurement that he should even take in preparing the ark so the width the length and the breadth of the ark everything was given to noah in terms of measurements oh hallelujah amen osama for morris in here my number is 0247701364. This is Osma for Morrison, and the number is 0247701364. Winnie, Onyan Kopon, so all to me, man, no one measurement any size on Fenya ship on an idea in Yina. Natural said one a long term plan on. Nipa ni ya mwani ya edu mribi ya o ya na aje nisa o dinsu yiri ba chini mpaso. So if God gave Noah the measurements that he should even use in building the ark, then it means that in his long term plan, he knew that we were, human beings were going to sin and that he was going to destroy the world with flood. And in this sense o dinsu yiri no ba say wani inti no. Na ne plan ane se obegji that eight people and our six people no no or the one asan atichire wi ase biom no so na afa moa no on sign mo e moa biom nti o ma moa nyina aso so ko mu mienu mienu oba ne be ma oba ne be ma wohu se ne papa ne ya na ade ne bri bia no tena se dwene ho na wahsehye no pepe 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 so god really plans ahead before time we realized that he knew that just a few number, about six or eight, were going to enter the ark. And then in the creation of animals, he thought of not creating any longer. So he made sure that the animals went into the ark by in pairs, that is male and female. And then he also knew that he was going to rebuild the world again with just the few number of people who were in the ark. Hallelujah. Amen. Franka, uh -huh, as I always say. It's amazing how God does his things. It's, it's, it's so succulent. Just say, yet the power. It's really interesting. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Osama for Morrison. You can WhatsApp, Telegram, on YouTube, Facebook, always or summa for morrison or act of salvation ministry international this is a summa for morrison and you can whatsapp call or telegram on 0247 701364 and then you can also find us on the facebook and youtube channel it's a summa for morrison or the act of salvation ministry international and into with him sanya me amekano hwasemwe onim se after no one no. obechi su obi ochi su abraham this kind of god we're talking about knew he was going to choose someone else after moses noah after noah sorry and that was abraham onim se abraham de na wo fa se bi baba ta no ho eya lot na wa kwetena ba bi e ba dane aye sodom and gomorrah onim ente na wa hehe abofo no hwese de wi o si suma abofo no he also knew uh, the fact that abraham was going to be attached by his nephew or his niece who was lot and he knew there was going to be a place called sodom and gomorrah so you can see how he planned to come 
to send the angels to come to their aid. A small buffalo, my wadi can ko Abraham and chain. Ma Abraham ne yere Sarah sevo. Ma ne de boshe a eya Isaac de fa sumano so de brewo. Look at this. He sent the angels to Abraham, and his wife Sarah served them very well. And to make his plans come true, he also made sure that the gift of a child, which is Isaac, came through them from the angels. Above all, we are more called, or more called to the man, Samuel Abraham said, Friend of God, intimate friend of God, Abraham, on your coupon was so my yen, sir, young cost Sodom and Gomorrah. Na yen kwa shi wo nyi na ni asasi ni ni nipa mwo ho nyi na. When the angels were about to leave or upon leaving, they told Abraham God's plans. That is to burn Sodom and Gomorrah, including everything that was in it, down. Na nyan kupo ni mse, Abraham tesa, esa ni nipa na wo ho nyi na obe diyama no. And Abraham ye ene sa. God knew that Abraham was going to intercede on behalf of his nephew or niece. And so he knew he was going to intercede for him. So he Abraham did. Abraham did exactly that. Afi wunim. Nyanko ponim se se Isaac ba. Isaac mono Joseph baba. Na ye kopie Egypt. And into a dikan she Abraham bose. Abraham was so for the quack where young qua were brand new Abraham way. What was that? No, I planned it. God also knew that Isaac was going to, we we're going to have Joseph from Isaac, mm-hmm. that was going to be his descendant, and then they were going to live in Egypt as well. So, even when Abraham didn't have no children, he told Abraham that his descendants were going to be slaves in another country. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are you enjoying it? This is our small for Morrison. This is Messenger Morrison. If you are enjoying it, let me know. The number is 024-770-1364. And the number still remains the same. 247 1364 And into no answer Abraham be wo no more through her Abyssinian called Promised Land. What plan? So before Abraham could even have a child, he knew and had planned ahead of time that they were going. He knew where they were going to be and where from Egypt from to Egypt Promised Land from Egypt they were going to go to the Promised Land. What was our planning in your adada? And in your mind, what planning will be adada? We see that these were really planned. So we know that God had already planned everything out. 